having their siesta. Yeah. Jesus and Juan, right? Yeah. Hold on, I want you to look in the same. Hold on. Sure. You can unwrap them now. The they're warm area. and fat. They're good. You can unwrap them a little Everybody bit. Everybody likes the Pareto. We want to we wanna promote Pareto. Mm. <laughs> Let's see if I can get them facing the same way. That would be cuter. There you go, babies. Oh, he wants to get out. I'm tired of being wrapped. Just a few more minutes, guys. <laughs> there. <laughs> You're pretty cute. And so who do we have here again? The white oh, and black one yep, on the left? Um, we've got Juan and Jesus. Mm -hmm. And they are a double burrito right now. Um, they just got fed their lunch and um, they're having a little siesta. These babies are graduating to gruel from kitten milk, about four weeks old. So this is typically the time they start to wean. Hi, and they're getting to be so big, right? All right, maybe he does want to come out here. He wants to show off his whole little cow kitty belly. Right? And they were found at about a week, a week old. Yeah, they were about a week old. Right. They came to CACC at about a week old. And um, they were in pretty rough shape. I remember they were kind of cold and wet. I believe there was a rainstorm. And so the people brought them and they, they hadn't seen mom in quite a few hours. They weren't sure where she was. They knew they needed to eat. And so we um, snapped into action. We got them warmed up. It's really important when you find babies that you warm them up before you eat them. If they're not warm, then they have um, problems digesting and they can actually die. So. The heat and the warmth is probably even more important as a first step. And then if you can get them warmed up to a proper temperature, then you can go ahead and start feeding them some kitten milk. And what's the best way to warm them? Um, heating pad, there's a heating pad that you can keep on low. You can get like at Walgreens or CVS or something. There are also these wonderful microwavable heating discs. So if you don't have access in the area that you're at with them, um, electricity you can just get these discs and warm them up the microwave for about five minutes and they hold the heat for about eight to twelve hours depending on the the brand um, another thing you can do if you have nothing else is put some rice in a sock and throw this in the microwave for about two minutes and this will hold some heat so even in the interim uh, the nice thing about a rice sock is it it's kind of almost the same consistency as a mama's belly so the babies will often like to knead on on the on the rice sock so just about anybody can find stuff around the house that they can use to create a nice nest for their babies. Right? And make it nice and wiggly. And these guys look amazing. They're nice and fat. Um, their eyes are clear and their nose are clear. And our foster mama has been doing a wonderful job. So we took care of them here for quite a few hours and then what we do is get on social media and get on the phone and start looking for a permanent foster because it's really difficult and not ideal to grow up in a, in a shelter environment. Going to a foster home is always ideal. Oh, they often like to get up in there and crawl in the hair. That's another favorite of babies, just like their mama. Right, so it's a, it's a like I say, it's a tough job, but somebody's gotta do it. Now, and it isn't always easy. I will say too, I think it's important for people to know that um, you know they don't always make it. It's really hard, there's no substitute for mom, even though uh, we, we're doing our best and we have lots of tools and we've got workshops here and a whole booklet we can give people to show them what to do. Um, there just is no substitute for mom. And so usually, you know, maybe half of the babies will make it. By the time they get to be about eight weeks old, there's about a 50% survival rate. Um, but if you can get them through those first critical weeks, you are gonna be so proud. Oop, I got him. Where is he? Is he looking? You're gonna be so proud and there's nothing more gratifying than really being able to save a life. And, um, and get them to the point where they can get their own new homes. So usually about eight, eight weeks or so, they reach about two pounds, and that's when they're ready for spay-neuter and to get ready for to be adopted out. 